Hey guys, welcome back to Selenium CH tutorial with a new need session 4. In today's session, I will discuss about the importance of category attribute in a new need and how we can perform test execution based on category group with the help of a new need. It might look very simple when users just have to execute one or two or maybe five test cases or test using any unit. However, in the real time, it does not happen. For each project, user may have to execute 10, 20 or maybe a higher number of test cases, test method or test. They may represent different purpose of testing like smoke, integration, UAT, end-to-end, -end, regression, etc. Different perspective like dev, QA, BA, different status, right, ready for execution, work in progress or defect picture, etc. The category attribute provides an alternative to class for dealing with group of tests. Either individual test cases or fixture may be identified as belonging to a particular category. When categories are used, only the test in the selected categories will be run. Those tests in category that are not selected are not reported at all. So what is the syntax? So after test fixture or test or test cases, you need to add any unit dot framework dot category and you need to give the category name. So there is no limit in defining category attribute within the test. Based on user need, they can derive category attribute to be used and test case to be executed. Category attribute can also be defined at text picture, test cases or test level. Once user define category attribute at the test fixtures level, it ensures all the test within that text fixtures inherits that category. Depending on the nature of test, user can have more than one category attribute for single test fixture, test case or test. So that is the way you can use multiple category for the same test or test picture or test cases. So in the real time, so what happened? So suppose say you already develop say 100 test scenario or test cases. So definitely you will not be running 100 test cases again and again and again for all the time. Sometime you need to only certify the, uh, only execute the test cases for smoke test, sometime for the regression, sometime for the end to end, sometime, sometime for the UAT like that. So what you can do, you can categorize all your test cases based on the testing type or based on the application type as, as well. Suppose you are dealing with 20 application, so definitely all test cases not covering all the application. So one test cases can, may cover two or three or five application like that. So what you can do, you can categorize all your test cases or test or test fixture based on the application. So what you can do? In case you want to execute all your test or test cases, so you can give it at the pixel level, so that category at the pixel level will definitely include all your test cases or test level. But in case you want to do it at the test level, so you can only add the category at the test level. In case you want to execute uh, at the test cases level with different variety of the data, you can use the category at the test cases level as well. So based on the category given, right, you have the provision to execute the test cases based on the category group. Now I will show how you can do the right category uh, driven testing or the group driven testing with the help of any unit. So in that particular class, I have couple of test cases. Okay. So I have already added uh, that fixture as well. So in that particular fixture, that particular class is available test. And here we are having three scenario, sorry, three method. One is test one, one is test two, and one is test three. So in the test, uh, and apart from that, there are two methods, which is the setup method and which is the tear down method. So in the setup method, I am trying to launch the Chrome browser maximizing and tear down method, I am trying to close the browser every time it's open. And in the first, for the first method test, I am instead of test, I am using test cases. So what will happen, the same test will e execute, test one method will execute the different variety of the data, where I will try it first open the Facebook page. I will print out the title and then for like username one password one combination I will execute one set and then for username two password two, uh, two I will execute another test. So that is the reason test case has been at used. So similarly for the test two I am want to open the page website. 
so I am using also test cases attribute I am opening the Google page I am opening the Facebook page and I want to print the title and in the third test it is a test level not the test case level where I want to execute only one method and one time I want to open the Apple page I want to get the driver title of the page and I want to right match it with the help of the assertion so that is the way right I can have this uh, three uh, test method so first test method two test case will be executed based on the different variety of the data for username password field of the Facebook page and the second test method test two I want to execute to URL right I want to open to URL and get printed it out and in the third test method I want to open the Apple page so this will concern only one test case and every time I'll be using the tear down and setup method and this is my test picture level so now without any kind of category in case I want to execute it I need to click on the test and then test explorer and then I can write run all so what will happen all the test cases or the test will try to run it because there is no category given and now so it will try to execute uh, the test based on the alphabetical order it is opening or executing first the Facebook page and entering the username password field then next time it will try to execute the other page Google and Facebook page and then it will go to the test 3 method which is the Apple page so now you could see here five test cases got executed right all are you could see here so this is the uh, n unit test one and which is executed for that password one username one password two username two that is the variety of the data and this is the second test cases executed uh, test method two executed for the Facebook and the Google level this is third test case executed now what we will do we will try to add that particular category so what is the syntax to add the category I can do add the category at the test level test picture level or the test case level as well so in case I want to add in the pixel level so what I need to do I will need to give the bracket then n unit right then dot framework then dot category you could see and here within the first bracket I need to give the name so say for all, for all the test cases I need to execute for the regression so I can give as regression test because all test cases should be as part of the regression so that test picture level I have added and then all the test cases I also need to execute for the end to end part okay so that is the way I can create multiple category okay so for the test one what I need to do sorry for, for, for the method one I maybe it will be only for uh, kind of smoke okay similarly for that uh, test method 2 maybe it should be uh, specific to the UAT okay and another one so at the test level so it should be instead of uh, regression smoke end to end we have did right maybe SIT test okay so that is the way in case you want to add multiple categories or test level test case level you can also do it maybe apart from the SID test you can also want to execute for the MOOC as well that one okay so let's um, copy it as well the MOOC test and you need MOOC test in case you are separating it right so that that uh, category will be as a segregate right it will be differentiated so in case you want to use MOOC test so everywhere wherever whatever test you want to write consider as part of the MOOC you should use the same syntax okay now it is already done category part is already done here right then what I need to do I can save my code and now I can go to the test I can go to the test explorer and here there's option available right to click here okay to click up on the group by options I need to select the traits okay and you need to select the traits so what happen automatically right all the test cases will try to execute based on the traits or which is nothing but the category now if you want to execute it so you could see the test case will be categorized based on the category you have given this test case will be grouped based on the category you have given
now you could see total five test cases executed but the five test cases getting grouped up based on the category so end to end test because for the test pixel level i have given end to end regression so all the five test cases coming for this particular category end to end test you could see here right similarly for the regression test category the all the test cases happening for the sit test only one test case is coming which is test 3 for the smoke test 3 two uh, method is coming one is that test 1 method where like at the test level username 1 password 2 username 2 password 2, 3 is getting entered and the test 3 method and for the UAT test it is only coming the test 2 method where you are uh, trying to enter the uh, open the URL Facebook and the Google so that is the way right you can already able to categorize based on the category value given you are able to group the test now say next time I don't want to run all my test cases instead of that I want to run based on the category category can be based on testing type based on application type based on other perspective as well suppose say I want to execute all the test cases for the MOOC test only sorry for the uh, MOOC test only so you could see only three test cases filtering out for the MOOC test and if you select that one and if you would run only the MOOC test three test cases will be running from the two test method so that is the way in case any test case is not in the category that will be ignored completely that will not be run and whatever is there as part of the category that will be executed so that is the way right i can group the test cases and easily i can only run you could see only three test cases run now other test case will be completely ignored here so you could see these are the test cases green color uh, this enable and other is disable so that are the test case already run based on the category so the same test case available that is the reason is coming as the green color otherwise it should be disabled right so you could see here that is the way you can categorize now say i will fail one test cases so here instead of apple you can give apple one so that particular test case will be fail here now now let's uh, try it again go to the test explorer so that is the already step already provided here so what do we do we can define multiple category attribute at the test picture or test case at the test level based on the requirement after that we need to select test menu and then test explorer then we need to run all the test cases first so that it will generate the category right you could uh, kind of ignore everything okay so what you can do you can uh, ignore clear the list here clear test result so automatically everything will be ignored now you can run all the test cases first for the in unit project so you can run all so again it will be first trying to run it after that based on the category thing a test case test will be grouped so it is trying to execute all the test cases and one test case will be failed here and remaining test case will be passed because for the one test cases I have given the assertion such that it will fail especially for the apple page so it should expect us in one apple one but it is coming as one you could see four test cases executed and one fail now you could see the same way the categories happen okay so now what you can do it in case you already not selected so select group by menu in the test explorer that is the group by menu and then you need to select the option called traits okay so you can select here so automatically you could see now all the things will be getting changed here right only it will be coming based on the other thing right in the first time based on the method level test level or the project and the solution explorer level now if you click here and if instead of that you could select traits now you would be able to see all the details based on the different category value you have given and then all your test will be grouped based on the category so end to end test five test case executed one fail regression five test case executed one fail SID test case one executed one fail MOOCs test case three executed one fail and you two test case executed and two passed apart from that right in case you want to filter out uh, the test cases based on the right execution statistics what you can do you need to select the option state and traits so what I can do I can select traits and state as well so now it will be filtered out based on the execution statistics okay 
update So now the test case got failed here and you could see now one fail again it is categorizing right fail and pass so under that umbrella one test case is getting first and four fail instead of the method level it is getting changed here now say in case I want to execute only the fail test cases so I can run only the fail one so what it will only execute the fail test cases and definitely in case still it is fail it is failing the test cases otherwise what it will be doing in case it is again passed you could see this fail and now if you go here if you close it you could able to see here uh, if you select here the test you could able to see the latest run here right one fail what is the reason you could get it also because the expectation was uh, right uh, that apple one and uh, it is coming as apple now let's try to correct it apple and now let's again go to the test and test explorer and again go to the failed one right so that is the test case fail you could see the result why it is failed it is expected apple coming apple one expected length was six but it was five now if you only try to execute the fail right based on the category and based on the sta state or maybe the test case execution status you can execute so it will try to execute that fail test cases so after the correction now it should match and now it should pass so that is the way right sometimes it is not always required that you have to test case all the test case again and again and again so suppose you are having 100 test case you have executed everything and out of 100 test case maybe 5 test cases fail but those 5 test cases not fail because of that real issue sometimes that the test case got failed because of some synchronization issue because of internet connectivity dis disruption right or because of some element not found right or page loadout issue all this stuff can happen so what you can do you can just um, <coughs> group those test cases based on the state or execution status and then you can only run the failed test case instead of running again and again and again all the test cases apart from that based on your requirement right you can execute only the MOOC test case only the URI test case only the regression test cases only the integration end to end also right in case of based on the application right suppose say your code has been changed in one application so it is not recommended to right execute all the application or ex execute all the scenario or test case for all the application instead of that I want to identify that what are the test cases belong to the application and then I can execute the all those relevant test cases based on the group and based on the category filtering so that's why you can save a lot of time and you can write complete the intended or required testing within the minimal time so that's all from today's session guys thank you